This is... This is crazy. Absolutely bonkers. No! Oh! Hey, buddy, watch this. All right, caravan early. Let's go. Guy Prime with 43 months. You are a saint, sir. Thank you. That is nearing on four years. Oh. Nature's blessings upon you. Oh, my. So this is uh probably like a celestial druid. We've seen this a few times. With this stuff. Are you going to work, Soothsayer's Caravan? Come on. Yes. Yes, the value. The beautiful value. Oh, I like this card too. I needed to play. Uh oh, gift. Oh, but it's not cheap because it's not a nature. Wait, does that just makes nature spells cheap, right? No, not nature spells, it makes all spells. No. Nature spells didn't exist when that was printed. What am I saying? This is the dream scenario. Double caravan early for insane value. We're still gonna get murdered later, but it's fun at least. Lightning Bloom already? Uh-oh. What is this? Uh-oh. Primordial Protector? Oh, just a Nourish for Ramp? Okay. A lot of Ramp to Ramp. Thought we might be seeing a Celestial already, you know? Oh! Oh! Oh my, sir! Um, yeah. Kind of getting a full hand anyway, so getting greedy off these is, I think, uh, like, we're going to have more mana than them. I'm going to drop an Alabaster. Like, oh, my God, this is, this is amazing, dude. Uh, Joshua, uh, I'll take a look uh, after if you remind me here. I got to load it up. Oh, my God, I'm going to have full hand. Eight cards. They're just hero powering. Wild growth hero power. Okay, I got to run Alabaster, right? Oh my god, another Scenarian Ward! Oh, this is delightful. And Survival of the Fittest. If they play Celestial, I just have Survival of the Fittest. Oh! That's the third, that's the third Scenarian Ward I have! What on earth? This is crazy. Absolutely bonkers. A lot of stuff there, though, man. Oh my god, Solar Eclipse into Scenarian Ward. What on earth, dude? I don't even know what to do after that. Probably, like, renew and trade trade and renew. Let's see what we get here, though, because that could make a big difference. Oh my god. Uh, how cheap is this? One, two, three, four, five. So that's actually cheap enough to play. Do I buff anything here, though? Like, this doesn't still trade if I buff. I think I'm actually better off just Divine Shielding this, which in hindsight, I'm wondering if I should have done that before trading. Divine Shields are good, but I don't know. Let's see. This is... Oh, cool. I'm surprised that's in their deck, but that's awesome. Um, no, oh! I have two one mana survival of the fittest. <laughs> they knew that they just gave me two one mana survival of the fittest. <laughs> All they could do is concede. Oh, my God. All right, mage. Oh, mage is interesting. I don't really want to give mage cards too much. Let's uh, let's see. We want. How do we want to beat mage? We probably need a lot of healing to beat mage. To be fair, stealing their stuff or borrowing their stuff or whatever will be fine. Can depend a little bit on the mage we're playing. Oh, okay. Flame strike points towards a. I feel like I see flame strike more in lunacy versions of mage but it might still be in the cthune versions too is it just in both or just neither versions just the spell spell versions 
I don't know the list tightly enough to say. Seems like Flame Strikes in it regardless, huh? Yeah, Flame Strikes in pretty much every list. Well, no, the Cthulhu list with Mask of Cthulhu, it's not in there. Okay, so probably no Cthulhu. Probably just the Mask of Cthulhu top out. Well, there's a Cthulhu list with Flame Strike as well. Who knows? It doesn't matter. Uh, Renew's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Healing is exactly what we need. Uh, yeah, here, I'll delete that prediction. I don't know what game that was from, guys. I'll start a new one here. I'll let you guys start a new one. I just returned the points. Take over, please. That's very nice. Thank you. Okay, like, uh, Apotheosis is as well. I really wish I had my, uh, Nameless one right here. This would be a sick Nameless one target. I'm gonna, uh, kill this with Serena. You guys told me that's an achievement, right? I believe that's an achievement. Does Serena feel better in this deck? No, Serena's garbage. Um, I think. I mean, she's okay, but it's just not. I, I, I thought that was an achievement, guys. I just did that literally for an achievement and nothing else, and I didn't see an achievement pop up. Maybe I already had it and didn't realize it. I'm pretty sure one of you told me that was an achievement, though. By the way, this is a not a spell mage, so we didn't we didn't wrap that up, but definitely more of a hero power mage. Oh, you got to do it t 10 times? You need to attack it. Oh, I totally misunderstood then. Okay, I got it wrong on every front, basically. All right. <laughs> well, not your fault then. That was just me not understanding. I have a wireless headset, and every time I start my PC, it turns off. I turn it on, and the sound goes up to 100%. My ear is really sensitive, so kind of frustrating. Yeah, I, I don't get it, man. I, I don't know why default settings on audio stuff is always max, too. I hate that. We talk about it all the time when I start a new video game. Anytime you load up a new video game, the default audio setting is always the highest possible setting. It blows your ears out. I don't get it. It, it must be so, something that games either decide to do or there's some logic behind it that I do not understand. I would always set everything to the middle or a low setting. It's very strange to me to prioritize the highest setting. Anyway, we, I gotta focus more on these games. I'm, I'm, ch I'm too chatty because I haven't streamed enough. I need to get in the boring groove. Need to get in the boring groove. Just love you guys too much. I like talking to you, you know? It's fun to chat. It's just too, it's just too enjoyable to talk, you know? You can't blame me for that. I like my chat, man. I like my chat. Hey, what was that sound? Mrs. Kilvin! She's banged on my door. New backgrounds? Uh, no, it's old. Just when it's on her. What were you doing? You just banged really loud. Look at Mrs. Kilvin. Although I don't appreciate the people saying I'm... Swinging above my weight or whatever. Or below my weight. <laughs> More specifically. Yeah, here's me and Mrs. Gilbin uh, sitting on stream. So there's my background you can see right there. Look at that. They're saying that you're prettier than me. That's really rude. I think you're lucky to have me, honestly. I think I think, I think think you're you're the lucky one. <laughs> I gotta put up with you. That's the trade. Uh, they say, hi, Bill. How nice. Yeah, one guy said you're too pretty for me. That's rude. Little does he know. Uh, Greedy some chili. Wow, man. That's cool. Is Dexter out of the basement? I don't know, man. You gotta ask Dexter's roommates. I think Dexter lives with Solemn or something. I don't know what's up. Oh, God. I did it again. I got distracted. I'm still not talking about the game. Oh, boy. All right, let's go fat here. Samuro? Oh my god, I called it! <laughs> Samuro, I love it. It'd be cool to apotheosis later, but it's never gonna last, right? <laughs> is he just playing a game or is he just talking to chat, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Lincoln Park. This dude is burning through his deck. He's just trying to get me in range for, uh, you know, big idiot there. Sure. So I gotta figure out how to how to stop his big idiot, you know? Which, right now, is awkward, because these apotheoses is I can't attack. This has already lost its spell burst, so there's no no fancy play there. Solmir's garbage here. I guess I start with this Renew and just see where we go, but man, this is not really that great of a turn. Um... 
Thrive in the Shadows, anything I really love here? Hysteria, no. Condemn, no. Renew actually is pretty legit, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see if we can find that Renew. It's like close to guaranteed. I didn't really check, but it was pretty likely. Um, Shadow Form, Power Infusion. I don't want any of these, man. This is garbage. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Tempo taunt, save three health, maybe. Yep, just a just chatting stream, yeah. <laughs> gen 4, thanks, man. Gen 4 best gen. As someone who's not a Pokemon guy, I'll trust your I'll trust your recommendation there, okay? I don't know. Oh my. Another reckless apprentice hitting. Ooh, that's another six damage coming face. Yikes. Gotta stay above that threshold for Mordrash, you know? At least this does die. I have a minion, but it's I can't apotheosis it yet. I need that actual Samuro. Condemn? Okay. Condemn cleans up at least. <clears throat> I guess the question is, do we um like apotheosis this kind of uh preemptively or what or wait? Maybe I just like silence it in hero power. Feels bad though, doesn't it? I think 19's fine for now. Let's just chill. Uh I'm gonna I'm gonna silence this just to give it uh more health. And then I'm also going to Divine Shield it as well. Just that I have an Apotheosis that can go face next turn. I mean, theoretically, I could Apotheosis first so that they both have Lifesteal, I suppose. Maybe between the Divine Shield and the Apotheosis, that's sufficient, isn't it? Probably, yeah. It's going to have 8 health still. It's pretty good. I guess it's susceptible to Freeze, but then I have the other one, so... Yeah, this is fine. And if I need to, I can buff this one to give it more more healing, right? And I still have this backup plan if we draw like a, a Samuro or something that demands even more. This is probably the best way to set up future healing, it looks like. That also gives me Zyrella outs too. Which is pretty cool. Uh, hey, Fino with the raid! Oh my god, thanks Fino, man! Welcome, Fino viewers. Okay. It's gonna freeze? What is this? I'm not freezing this, right? Oh, come Question. Oh my god. I'm at 11. We know more dresh is here. Oh no, brain freeze. No, I needed that. Oh, I can't believe they were able to react to both of those. Renew. Okay. So we got four showing, 10 coming for more dress, presumably. That's 14. So I can get out of range here, but what's the what's the right way to do that, right? Am I gonna like focus will will this? It goes to six. Lyrella hits it for five. Could also just stall with Apotheosis. Let's just see what we find. Any kind of healing here could really change the, the metric a little. Holy Nova Zyrella doesn't let me hero power, but it's plenty, right? I don't really need to. I mean, I, I have this check eventually. It's going to catch up. But with Apotheosis, we can eventually stabilize that. Maybe Holy Nova Zyrella is fine, right? That hits for five. That clears. This does mean he's hitting a, a, an egg win again, but I think the palm reading might just be a little too greedy because it might whiff, right? This this gets us above the metrics we care about at 10. Buys me a few turns if we have to trade off your powers. Establishes the minion for apotheosis. I think I'm cool. Uh, two fireballs already hit, so I think that's probably most of the other like reach, right? I guess I don't actually have an answer to... Oh, God, I forgot about that. Oh, no. I don't really have a way to kill Mordrash other than Solmir, I guess is fine, isn't it? Oh! Oh! Okay, that's... Oh, no! Wildfire again! Oh my god. Okay. Uh, this seems like a pretty decent Apotheosis Solmir, but then again, I can't kill Mordrash. I can Wave of Apathy Mordrash. <laughs> it's a problem for next turn. Yeah. Oh, thanks again, Fido, folks, by the way. Sorry, we're playing. I forgot to describe what we're playing. We're playing a thief priest. The idea was to add every thief card into a priest list. So a, a worse version of priest, basically. Draw Cabal, Acolyte, and Steel. Okay, that's that's an out. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying there's no outs in the deck. It's just that it's, you know, a solution we don't have yet. Um, but we can buy a couple turns at least and see where we go from there, right? I mean, we can always try to Elusia as well. What do we think's left in their deck of Elusia, right? Hysteria clear here? 
Wave. Oh, yeah. Wave into Kel'Thuzad will just clear, right? Oh, that's it then. Wave Kel'Thuzad Hysteria is fine. This is easy. And then hopefully we have enough. We must wield the power Having the big body here solve the problem, right? Does this actually steal this? We talked about this before. I think it does, right? Yeah, it died during the the spell resolution phase, so we actually steal the Tintin, which is pretty amazing. <laughs> um, hopefully, no other reach other than just this insane four damage uh, hero power. Then, do we have a lethal setup? I don't think so, right? We're four, fourteen. Oh my God, Kona Cold's actually gonna create a bit of a check here, isn't it? Oh, I can I can silence though and trade, so that'll help any healing problems, damage output problems. Uh, it's not lethal though, right? They took four, so they're taking fives. So we get it for 15. Oh God. Oh no. Is their last card flame strike guys? I think their last card's flame strike. <laughs> they had a flame strike we burned early. I think their last card's flame strike. I, I'm dead if I don't get a flame strike here. So I think we just flame strike them. I do give them an alabaster, but I can kill the alabaster with a Mordresh because it'll be unfrozen. It's got to be flame strike. I'm I'm dead otherwise. There's no other play. So pretty sure it's flame strike number two. Oh yeah. <laughs> I even get to heal. Okay. So they can play the Alabaster, which is annoying because it gives them like multiple threats. But I might just have lethal set up too now. Uh, 15. What are they? Well, they're not taking fatigue this turn, so. Okay. <laughs> Godly reads. No, we didn't have a choice. It didn't really matter. We had to try. Just luck. They should silence one of my minions. Maybe even ping one. Oh my god, that's... That's got the Aegwyn buff. Um, which I can put in my deck, I guess, which is cool. Um, so they're going to get a one mana what? A one mana hysteria. That doesn't matter at all. Okay, so we don't have lethal, right? They're taking five. We have uh, 15. That's only 20. So no lethal. So we just need to clean this stuff up. We might as well hear here. He'll hear. We know it's hysteria, so doesn't matter. Actually, that's probably wrong. Hysteria clears us now, but again, it, it doesn't matter. Well, actually, I do have to out outpace his hero power. He's only gaining two per turn, though, so I have I have plenty of time. Nothing really matters. Will they concede or will they let us play it out? Who cares? Huh. Saving the Hysteria and pinging. All right, whatever. <laughs> it's all good. All good. Kind of a funny reaction that Soothsayer got the spell power. Yeah, it is. It's it's I guess it's you know it's your state or whatever, so it's kinda cool. Bum, bum. GG. Cool game. Weird game. I was distracted the whole first half of the game. I'm really gonna want to put this on YouTube now, but I don't know. Maybe maybe too bad. Good hand here, I suppose. Anything really good against Paladin, though. First time here. Oh, sweet Swedish Chris, man. Thanks. That's pretty awesome. Me too. My first time here, too. <laughs> this might seem like it. Is this your first time playing Hearthstone, Regis? Yeah, man. Seven years. It's my first time. Cabal Acolyte, which I feel like Cabal Acolyte... I don't know why this card's not good. It, man. What happens? This is always dead to uh, a doll, but that's okay. This card was like so nuts previously, and then I, it's just gone away. I, I guess I need to take a closer look at what Priest is doing these days. Or maybe at least what the meta is doing. You know, you have to have good targets, but Cabal Acolyte used to be so nuts. I know it got nerfed, but even post-nerf, it still felt so strong. And it's felt good in this deck too, I feel like. It's felt strong here. I, I feel like we need to take a second closer look at, at Cabal Acolyte in the meta. Is it better than we think? What is Priest running instead of it, I guess, is the question. Oh, okay. Well, at least we dealt, dealt three damage with this guy. Better than normal. Whoa. 
Well, that's a good draw. Oh my yog, notwithstanding. Cool. Job done. Might still be good. Let's see. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. I'll take it. In the scheme of things, yeah. Nameless one could be great against Paladin. They buff something, we can deny a buff. Doesn't look like Librams are likely, but maybe. If not, we'll probably just tempo the scoundrel. Get the body on board. Wife's first time watching Twitch. Can you give Becky a shout out? There's too much power here. <laughs> hey, Becky, though. Thanks for watching Twitch. That's really awesome. Greatly appreciate it. This is pretty sick here, too. Or really, maybe not here. I don't know. Now, nah, let's let's just stick to the plan. I don't want to proc an Avenge and get myself in trouble here. Let's hang tight. Uh, I definitely don't want them to have a conviction. I think Mancrick is like the easiest thing for me to deal with. I don't want them to have more resources. Mancrick's kind of useful for me as well. Yeah. Let's take the Mancrick, I guess. Conviction's too scary. Um, oh, okay. Here's an explanation for why you think uh, Cabal Acolyte is worse. Let's see. Uh, value went down. Most priest decks are raised dead decks, so you want something very specific to die. Outside of raised de dead decks, it is still good. Okay, that's that's interesting. You're thinking like you care so much about the ethics and consistency in early game raised deads. You don't want to pollute your pool with Cabal Acolyte. I, I don't know if I buy that 100%, but sure, why not? Oh my god, how did that get so big? Double hand of its all. Wow. Come closer. You can trust okay. Me. Um, anything fancy I needed to hear the wave of apathy? I don't think so, right? Oh, maybe. Where does this land? Oh, shoot. Okay, that's good. You want more? Yeah, this is fine. Okay. It'd be a lot worse. I mean, we're 13, which certainly sucks, but we've got the board back, which is really nice. I feel like Nameless one's another card I, people are sleeping on. It's all these priest four drops, dude. I really like these cards. I don't know. I dig Nameless one. I dig Cabal Acolyte. I think my, you know, value, my heart for value really makes me like these. I love the value, you know. Could steal a man crick here. I don't want to proc the Galloping Idiot probably yet. I mean, I could. I could, like, uh... Steal the Galloping Idiot, actually. Trade, trade. Uh, well, no, I can't currently because I don't have enough cards, I guess. Well, we got Noble Sack here is potentially a problem as well. We got another Avenge that's potentially a problem. Um, Avenge, I'll probably just steal it. Oh, okay. So we're looking at Oh My Yog and other dude. I think that means we're, we're just tempoing, right? Just trading here and tempoing. Give them something bad, hopefully, here. <laughs> how does this work? I don't know how this works. Uh, discover a card in your opponent's... I don't want them to get it. I'm not going to take it. I'm just curious how it works. I think Knight of Anointment's the, the safest bet here. Got to kind of decide which of these I care more about. It's interesting, right? Like, this is more face damage overall. I guess I kind of take this hit. Anyway. Are we going to grab a Renew here? No. You want more? I don't know. This is really debatable, right? Like, in some ways, just being able to trade five might be better to take good trades, but Wind Fury sure is scary, so. Even if I don't have a, a, an immediate, like, play off of it, that extra damage might add up. Coach Wolfskin, by the way, for the three months. Thank you, Coach Wolfskin. I thought we might get a renew off this. Conviction's okay, or Condemn's okay. I did kind of want the renew, though. Still going to eye my health total eventually. They start playing that weapon, the big elemental weapon thing and all that garbage. I'm going to be stressed. Looks like a good Zyrella, though. Let's get more tempo here and start hitting face, right? Clean everything at once is important for the uh, Avenges. This looks like a Zyrella opportunity to do that and hit for a billion. Could also go uh, Kel'Thuzad Condemn, but we have uh, Oh My Yog concerns, right? Speaking of the same thing for Renew here. Uh, I don't want to play all three of these because I don't want to proc the Galloping Idiot yet. Let's just, let's just take this pretty chill and easy again. And we can test Noble Sack now with a 1-1. One, one. Cool. Just gonna hit, chill. We can, uh, actually, you know, I could throw a wave in right now to get the Oh My Yog, but it's kind of risky because I could accidentally kill my own stuff or something, you never know. 
So let's just wait, because we're setting up lethal anyway. If nothing changes, we just have the win, right? So why? Why fret? Oh. Uh. Cabal renew wave here, lethal? No, there's an extra minion. Um. Trade Solmir would be if not for uh, Omayog. So I can trade, renew the Omayog, Solmir, and hit for. Hit for enough, right? Let the dead rest. That should be fine. Steal it? I, I can't guarantee a steal, can I? I don't think so. I got I got Omayog problems, and then I got the taunt idiot problems too. So I need to make sure I'm not casting too many spells, basically. This is gonna get Omayog. As long as none of my stuff dies, we're just good to go. Should be fine. Just double check in here. Tracking, that's that's great, whatever. Galloping idiot's gonna mess things up for us. Cool. Saving this damage actually mattered. I wasn't sure it was going to. The sack is very noble. 